Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my debut video. This is the Crazy Canuck coming at you from Saskatchewan, Canada. This channel is going to be dedicated to preparedness and growing your own food and all kinds of different ideas. Uh, we're heading into some very turbulent times with weather, crop sh failures around the world, food shortages, and this is my way to contribute. First of all, we're going to get going here with a weather report. Locally, it's minus 10 degrees. Feels like minus 17. As you saw by the 14-day forecast, there is no normal temperatures anywhere in the near future and we are presently 9 degrees Celsius below normal. Resolute Bay is minus 25, Inuvik is minus 15, and Alert is minus 21. Now this channel is going to mainly c concentrate on different ideas how to grow food. And this video is going to be about bricks. Now it doesn't matter if you are growing field crops, or you're growing hydroponically, or you're growing aquaponically, or any other method, gardening, hugoculture, anything. All the same rules apply. In order to be healthy, you need healthy food. Healthy food is high in mineral content or nutrient dense. Now the only way to achieve maximum mineral content in plants is through photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is basically a plant using the sun's energy, water, CO2, and other minerals like calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, sulfur, micronutrients to make sugars. The better a plant functions, the more mineral it's going to have. Now the best way to check how your crop is doing is through bricks. Bricks is a measure of sugar mineral content in plant sap. This gives you a very easy, very cheap way to monitor how things are doing in your garden or in your greenhouse or in your field. You squeeze uh, a couple drops of plant juice onto the refractometer and then take a reading. The higher the bricks, the better. Now there is a chart that will give you a range for a variety of fruits, grasses, and vegetables. Uh, for example, in this chart it shows apples at 6 are poor, average is 10, good is 14, excellent is 18. Now just because it says excellent is 18 doesn't mean that's where it needs to stop. You can have bricks higher than 18. With apples, an interesting note is that the higher the bricks, the longer it takes them to turn brown when they're op cut open. Also, high bricks food does not rot it will dehydrate if you have mold and your fruits and vegetables are rotting they are definitely low bricks and you cannot tell just by looking at them now this is a very short video on a very basic topic that I can probably get into in another video but this sets the foundation for everything. Without bricks, you're farming blind. And that will conclude this video, this short video, from the Crazy Canuck. Talk to you soon.